But I thought I'd bring you over and show you this because this is quite an amazing place I'm at. So around this area is where Jack Nicholas hit his first golf shot. I'm out here filming a little bit with tight list. Um, should we have a look in the clubhouse? See what trinkets we can find. It's a 60% version of the bottom anchor. Oh, so Ryder Cup. So what was the Ryder Cup would have been GB and I? That's correct. In those days, 1931. Okay, and Mr. Ryder was here. Really? And this logo that's here, where it says team matches, yeah. we own that because the Ryder Cup is the logo now, and that was our logo when they did oh, it. Oh, fantastic. So yeah. we use it for our member, a uh, member event called the Sahota Cup. So this is a Wanamaker. That's a Wanamaker, cup. correct. That's a, but that's a 60% of the Wanamaker. Yeah, we were stood next to the Wanamaker. Right. Literally and this is an exact ago. replica of the US Open trophy that wow. was in, you remember the greatest game ever played? Disney did this and then they bid it out and we bid for it and got it. Fantastic. And then this is the, the Havemeyer Trophy, which was the US Amateur. Okay. Does the US Amateur Trophy still, that's what it still looks like? Yep, is it? that's it. And then, and then there's the, we've had two senior opens. We had the 86 senior open and the 2016 senior open. Brilliant. Who won it in 2016? In 2016, it, it, it was won by Gene, Gene Sowers. And, it, and it's basically... So this is the Jack Nicholas room. Jack in the early years. Oh, look at those pictures. Exactly. That is fantastic stuff. So is that out on that practice area where we're stood That's now? That's right where you were. If you go to the left, you got one uh, even younger version. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. That's when he helped us out. And when we redid the bunkering and had the greens in 08. Quite a nice uh, mind to have help out how to yeah. do that, isn't it? Now this was when he was 13 here at the club. Fantastic, look at that. So what age did he start? He started at age 10. Age 10. And that's right here. And this is right, that's the building out there. So far. And I've this pictures so And this is the one where the plaque, this is where the plaque is. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Cool, look at the early leg action as well. Look at that in 62. And then where our, where our practice facility sits, there was a Quonset hut, and he used to practice out of it in the wintertime. Because he knew Ohio, I guess we, it was getting cold in the winter. Yeah, very much so. And then this is a junior golf league. They, it was in Columbus and just had him on there and that's a bunch of our members are on that. That's why they put it in there because that was one his, his mother would say. Here, here it is right here. So his US that's Amateur when he would have been a member here. In 1960 they made him an honorary member. How old would he have been when he won that? Well, he, we was, he, he, he was born and he would have been, uh, he was 10 years old in 50 so he would have been 20. There you go. 20 years his, old. A, his record is a junior up there. And he played his first U.S. Amateur at uh, Inverness Club in Toledo. Is that his parents' That's store? That's his parents' drugstore, which is right up, right off of it. Still, the actual building still stands. It does it? Yeah. It what actually became a Radio Shack, and it just changed from a Radio Shack. Okay. Back spot. That's where you okay, used to see yeah. the same building in the yeah, background. Absolutely. That's where that went, plaque is. Right. So this is in 62 after he won the, he just beaten Palmer at Oakmont. Okay. And that, and then here he is. That was the, the uh, International JC Championship. That was a side of the Junior Club Championship. And then this was his first interaction with Bob Jones, which was, this was at OSU Scarlet. First time he met him, I think, and then that was at the Emerus Club when he played in USM. And then in '62, after Jack beat Arnie in, at Oakmont, they came back here and had an exhibition. Oh, really? And 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 uh, Arnold was signing autographs and all busy. And this gentleman here on the right is just passed away, Mr. John Bishop. He gave us the money for the plaque on the range. Fantastic. And he looked over and they were all signing autographs and he told me the story. He said, Arnie looks over and he was like here and he looks over and he says, 
sign some autographs. He, he goes, you act like you're nervous or what's going on? He goes, well, you know, I want to perform good in front of the home crowd. He goes, look, pal, you know what you made last week when you won the tournament? He goes, absolutely, I know what I made. He goes, we're going to make twice as much of that today, and we're splitting the gate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they got paid twice as much to do the exhibition, and they won in the tournament. Wow. So. These are all recent pictures. This is yeah. all, this is all from the from the 2016 senior Seniors, Open. Seniors, yeah. Here's a, and the champion here was Gene Sowers. Excellent. Quite some history, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a bit. So then we'll go left. So this is what Eddie Pierce, and and that's um, Bill Campbell. That's when they were having kind of an intro for the for the the U.S. Open. Am the USAM in 68. Yeah. And this is Byron Nelson and then um, Chris Schenkel. And then there's your winner, Bruce Fleischer. But this list of names that played in that year is historic. You'll know many of them. If you look down the list, you just, it's a who's who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the amateur. Yeah, and one of the cool things about it is that Vinnie Giles shot 65 in the final round. Cool. And in a U.S. in a in a, a USGA competition. Yeah. That's still tied for the lowest round. So, is it? Yeah, 65. We've had two 63s outside of competition. Right. And Chesson Hadley, who was here today, yeah, has yeah. one of them. Does he? Yeah, so good. Well, that was Jack, and that's what he won right there. So he won the, the Big Ten, NCAA, Western Am, U.S. Open runner-up, Colonial Am, U.S. Amateur Champion, two years, 59 and 61. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Royal St. George's Challenge Cup. I guess that's that's Royal St. George's as yeah, in Royal St. Exactly. George's. Exactly, that is Royal St. George's. How would you, in 59, that would have been a boat trip, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, he would have been 19. No, you could have flown that. could have flown probably. that. Probably, that's about when wouldn't they Wouldn't it be really cheap, though, home. would it? That would oh, have been, no, like, mega... But it could have been a USGA gym. something, and he got they, some help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That is just what we were going on to see, which is domination, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, everybody said, oh, he, he, his amateur record wasn't as good. Yeah, right. Yeah, he... We, <laughs> Final. So the 1950 PGA Championship was match play. Yeah, that's correct. But like you say, some of the big names can go out early. I mean, yep. Sneed going out in the second round is not going to be so good for a tournament, is it, as the biggest name? The one thing that I did forget to tell you is there is a, um, in the in the U.S. Open trophy case, mm. and we'll go over and look, when Mr. Jones won, he had heat exhaustion. They played 36 the last day, mm. and he birdied 18. And he ended up winning outright by one shot. Wow. And he gave the ball to the doctor he went to, and he was a member here, and he passed it down, and his grandson donated it, and that's Fantastic. it in the trophy case. Oh, that's an actual ball. And it's the only time until Jordan Spieth won over, over the mess three footer that ended up three putting for DJ. Yeah, yeah. That's the next time that a birdie on the last hole was made an outright winner. Oh, so really? from twenty six until where was that at Chambers Bay? Yeah, Chambers Bay, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. And so this is all the this I'm is all the twenty six US Open. I'm gonna you can see the golf course. This is the golf course there are no trees and square tee boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk 1926 U.S. Open. Look at the. Is it wearing ties? Yeah, look at the yeah, ties. Absolutely, one by Bob Jones, and it was yeah. Bobby Jones. Heat. It was 100 degrees. Yeah. Wow, and they're still keeping up their uh, appearances. Is amazing, isn't it? I know her when I see her. You're right. She's small. I yeah. Look how young the course yeah. looks. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like early pictures of Augusto when you see them. It's That's great. Right. The club champion board, and I was scanning each name to try and find Jax because he obviously would have won the club championship. That's correct. Couldn't his, play because he wasn't. His great friend Bob Hogue, who did Muirfield Village with him, was a very good player. And and also Jack Hessler, Pandel Savick, those are and Pandel was you know guys that 
that were very significant at, at uh, Muirfield. Yeah, okay. amazing. That you, so had a fire in what year did you say in the ground? Uh, 1950. And they managed to get these out? Yep, so they had, they had a, uh, that's when uh, Mr. Grell, right. his daughter told me, she said that's one of the only times she's ever seen him really break down and cry because he said we're losing the history of the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course, he and Mr. Nicholas were like father-son. Yeah, absolutely.